Hey everyone and welcome back to another Code.org video. Today we are doing Lesson 36, Alien Dance Party in the Express Course Curriculum. So this first puzzle here in Lesson 36 is simply asking us to make a prediction as to what will happen when we click on it. And you can see I've already done this here, but unfortunately that recording has been lost, so I'm doing it again. Um, so I said the alien will begin patrolling when it is clicked, which is pretty obvious or a pretty obvious thing to say, but that is what the code is saying here. So, you know, it's saying set the background color. So we know it's going to set the background color. It's going to make a sprite called alien one with this costume at coordinate 200, 200, which is, you know, roughly the middle of the screen. And then it says when alien one clicked sprite, alien one begins patrolling up and down. So that's literally what's going to happen. That's what I wrote. Feel free to use this answer or come up with your own answer based on whatever you think your teacher may want or whatever you think is going to happen. However, this is what will happen. It begins patrolling up and down. And then when you click finish, it says congratulations, you completed puzzle one. Great. Okay. So let's go on to puzzle number two. Why it's taking it a minute to load. There we go. Okay. So then it says, the alien was proud of its dancing skills on Mars, but now it can only move side to side. When you Can you change the behavior inside the sprite alien one begins block to make it start moving around? Well, let's see if we can do that. So let's try making it patrolling. Let's see if we can edit this. So, oh wow, okay. Name your behavior, patrolling. What is your behavior supposed to do? Moves back and forth and once. So you're describing what it does and then patrolling this sprite move this sprite five pixels forward and then if this sprite is touching edges edges block this sprite from moving so that means it'll bump into the edge and then change this sprite movement direction by 180 so what if we just change this 180 variable to 90 so then it will begin moving in a different direction instead of just turning around and coming back it'll make a right turn or left turn I'm not sure so then let's just hit run and Oh, it's when clicked. Okay, so it's going to start patrolling. There we go. It's going to change direction every time it hits something. So that's perfect. So all we needed to do here was go into edit and change this from 180 to 90 because a 90 degree turn is a right angle turn. Ooh, it did it. Now he's caught over there. That's interesting. There must be some invisible block here, but that's fine. We're going to go ahead and hit finish. Great. Continue. And you could change that to anything really besides 180 degrees or 360 degrees or zero degrees and it would work. Okay, so we're moving on to puzzle number three here. And again, you know, this is the first time I'm encountering any of these things. So I have to figure it out just like you guys. It's just I have some experience doing things like this. Okay, so it now says create a new sprite called Alien 2. So let's just say make a new sprite Alien 2. Oh, I can't stop yawning and then we'll move this code down here okay and so then it says make it do a different dance move when it's clicked so let's just go ahead and say behaviors and then no events when alien 2 clicked let's make let's see sprite alien 2 begins we will change its behavior. Let's see. Jittering, I guess. We'll see what that is. All right, so here we have Alien 1 is patrolling. Alien 2 starts jittering. Great. Not a big deal. Not too hard. You just, you're just you just playing around with behaviors here. So it looks like this lesson is actually more of a tutorial. So if you want to skip this video and just go through it yourself and just play around with it, uh, I would almost encourage you to do that. However, if you want to, just sit tight and we will keep on keeping on. All right, so now in puzzle number four, it says create a third sprite called Alien 3. So let's move these over here because it never wants to get out of our way. And we'll say sprite, make a new sprite, Alien 3, and we'll make its costume something else. Let's make it this green guy here. Um, and we'll put it at, can we edit those coordinates? Oh yeah, it lets us edit it graphically instead of having to manually input them. Cool. All right, so, and then it says, can you set all of your aliens to stand in a straight line? Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, so let's just put that at 200. 
And then we'll put this guy over here at 200. Come on, mouse, don't fail me. There we go. Okay, so they're now all standing in a straight line. Perfect. And then we could make them all dance or something, but we don't have to. All right, and then I haven't set Alien 3 to do anything, so we'll just leave him where he is. All right, so you're finished cooking. All right, let's move on to the next level here. Moving on to puzzle number five. It says we can change all kinds of things in this program when you click on the sprites. Let's change their color. Add code to change the color of each alien when it gets clicked. Okay, so let's go ahead and make an event when Alien 2 clicked, and then we'll just drag in all three events that we want real quick here. So, and then we'll change that to Alien 1, Alien 3, and we'll say when Alien 2 is clicked, let's change its color. Is that even an option? Um, behavior, let's see. Sp oops, sprite, Alien 2, begins. I don't see an option for changing the color. Ah, change the color of alien. Okay, so we'll just do that. So change the color, and then we'll just set them all to the same. So let's say change the color of alien one for alien one. So match these all up, unless you just want each alien to change differently on uh, at different times. So here we have sprite change color of alien three. And so they're all gonna change to red when they're clicked. So there, there, and there. And then they're still dancing. So that one's still pulsating or what it was called jittering. That one's still patrolling different directions. And this guy's still not doing anything besides changing colors. So I wonder if we could change this to like a random color. Um, let's see, no, it doesn't let us choose a random variable. Okay, but that's fine. We'll go ahead and click finish and continue on to puzzle number six. So let's see, so we have all of our things. So these aliens are running wild. Use the stops everything block to make each alien stop moving when clicked. So it says jittering, patrolling, wandering. Okay, so that's fine. Then when alien one clicked, alien one stops everything. So let's go ahead and put an event for alien two and then an event for alien number three. One event, when alien three is clicked. So then we'll go back into behaviors, stops everything stops everything and we'll say alien 2 stops everything and then alien 3 stops everything so we'll hit run and you'll see they're all moving that one's jittering this and that if you click on one he should stop mm, maybe maybe not don't know why it isn't stopping it says when alien 1 clicked alien 1 stops everything so it should be stopping, but it's not, but that's fine. It will let us continue. I don't think we made any errors in our code. So here we have your finish. Click continue to move on to the next level. So we'll go ahead and click continue, moving on to puzzle seven. Okay, so again, I don't think this lesson is requiring us to really figure anything out. I think it's just exploring Sprite Lab. So it says, finally add a new bell sprite called My Bell. When you click on it, make all the aliens start doing the same dance move. So let's add a new sprite. We'll call it, uh, where is it? No, let's see. My bell. I'm not exactly sure what it's wanting us to do. Make a new sprite called my bell with costume. Okay, so it has a bell. We'll just put it at the beginning here so you can see. Um, and we'll change this. We'll put the bell right there and then we'll get rid of that little thing there. Okay, so we'll move those and actually let's just get rid of those. We're not going to we're not going to use those anymore. All right, so we're gonna make all the aliens stop when we click the bell. So in order to do that, we're gonna bring in this when my bell clicked behaviors sprite alien one stops everything, alien two stops everything, and then alien three is gonna stop everything. So two and three. And so we have when my bell clicked. Okay, perfect. So let's run. So they're all doing something. 
and then again it's just not doing anything when I click the bell so I don't know what the deal is with that but we'll go ahead and click finish and we'll go ahead and click continue moving on to puzzle number eight which is the final puzzle for lesson number 36 and it says now create your own alien disco looking for inspiration try the okay so we'll just let that run so this is basically it you can add different things in here to make the aliens do different things if you want and play around I'm not going to do that just for the sake of keeping this video short uh, because again this is just a more of like a how-to lesson than a uh, figuring anything out type lesson so you really don't need my help you just follow the directions and it'll walk you through it all right well I think I'm gonna leave this video here thank you very much for watching uh, if you liked it leave a like if you didn't like it you know what to do if you have questions or suggestions leave a comment down below if you want to see other videos you can feel free to subscribe and check out my playlist where I do all the code.org lessons beginning at lesson 21 in this course um, I think that's basically it so thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you in the next video